Welcome back to the second channel guys. Today we wanted to bring you guys a little second channel video, a little bit different, but I was checking this trail camera, okay? And I got through about 10 pictures and I was like, I need to do a reaction to this because these people need to see what we're dealing with. So basically, this is just going to be me and Ethan going through about 700 trail camera pictures from apparently five, what is that, June? Yeah? Anyways, we're just going to go through them we're just going to see what in the world happened and you guys are going to stick here with us. So let's just go through them. And, uh, yeah, we'll just go through them like that. Here's the second picture. Looks like nothing's there. Uh, there's me. There's a deer's butt. Real nice. Real nice. Here's a bunch of deer, and I looked at it, and we're having a stinking boxing match over here. So, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Corn's corn. Then, so we got five little does, and then one spotted-looking deer. And then the same ones, same ones. Nothing too crazy is happening just yet. They're just There's my <laughs> uncle. He's just riding through. He don't. And then there's me too. On the, uh, how many? How, how much? What is that? Like I don't know. The next morning or something. But I'm riding through. I get off. Next thing I know, I'm on top of the feeder. Okay, I'm on top of the feeder with a knife, with a a stick. Uh oh. And then <laughs> staring at something. I don't know what I was looking at, but with my big four wheeler, I don't think I turned it off either. That was a. Uh, that was a few months ago, but I saw, I remember that day. Anyways, I, I don't know what to think about all these people driving through my feeder, my, my, my food plot, but apparently no one cares anymore because apparently I don't either. But anyways, there's me just walking. And then there's you too. What what are we doing here? I, I mean, it was about four or five months ago. Uh, I don't remember. No, I remember that. What, looking at a tree stand? Yeah. Okay, there's two deer. they just chilling. Um, deer snow flurries in july i don't know then we got four raccoons oh them I think. dudes are mean dude four i didn't know we had four they just now started yeah and look all right so this picture then we go to that picture what do you think happened i'm gonna think a raccoon pulled down the camera why do i think that maybe because the next picture he's he's literally on top of it that's an eye or something has to be that's fur yeah. look at the hairs yeah it looks like an eyelash like he's they're on top of the camera. They pulled it down. And now it's literally pointing at the ground. Pointing at nothing. And then the next day, the squirrel sticking gets exposed, dude. Just he's, just he's just straight chilling. Standing up. I didn't know they could stand like that. I mean, I don't think many people did, but the, the, coons just, the raccoons just exposed my man over here. He's just chilling, and then the raccoons just exposed him. Also, is there something over here? No, never mind. There's a squirrel and here's a squirrel. They're just chewing on some of the corn that fell out. Oh dang, there's three squirrels right there. That's what we like to see though. Is one, that one dead? Two, mm, no, definitely not. But yeah, we like the squirrels. Honestly, Ooh. yeah, acrobat. Yeah. We like, I like squirrels. Like that's one of the main reasons I set up the feeder so early in the year is just so that squirrels could have somewhere to chew around on and hang out. And then there's a nice little cardinal. There's a deer and a dove. Pretty good camera, honestly. Get yeah, pictures. Look, you can see this is the KG trail camera. If you guys don't know, uh, where's that one at? Can you go grab it? Okay. I think it's in there. But yeah, I'll just keep reviewing these, and uh, you go grab it. And we'll show them. But this is the KG trail camera. Put on like I think 16 megapixels, and you can literally see the veins in this deer's face and the feathers on this dove, which is pretty good. And then the dove leaves, and the deer stays. And the de oh my goodness. I'm just saying that's pretty. Good. That's pretty good quality out of a trail camera. Somebody stole the trail camera. Huh? They stole the trail camera. Okay. Oh, I'll just grab another one. Well, looks like we we have a small trail camera shortage. But anyways, yeah, we'll just keep going through them. So far, so good. Uh, there's the dove again. The dove. The dove's back. It's pretty good. The dove. Anyways, his name is Gary. Here, here's the trail camera. Uh oh, what happened there? We out of focus? Come on, Cannon. What you doing? Anyways, here is the trail camera. So it's the KG trail camera. If you want one, Kendall Gray one to come slash shop or first link in the description. Stay tuned in the end of the video and I'll give you guys a promo code to get 10% off this thing. As many as you want of them. But there's a squirrel at night. We'll keep flipping. There's a stinking raccoon. When you trap them or something. Up close and personal. Up close and personal on you. If you look over there, you see another one. Oh, I just see eyes. They I look. know. There's another raccoon. It's pretty big. Those aren't small raccoons. There's a rabbit. You getting it? And there's some squirrels, squirrels, deer. 
Apparently, did the did the raccoons move the camera back or something? <laughs> I don't know. We're only 61 pictures in. We gotta start flying through these. But I mean, we're all just checking them here together, so we'll see what we got. I don't know if the deer understand it yet. I, I know that throughout the year, like I expect, as it gets later in the year, they're gonna get more and more used to it because there's raccoons. Anyway, as the deer, as the tear, as the as the year ticks on, there's gonna be less and less grass, less and less browse, and they're gonna get a whole lot more open to what is going on here. <laughs> what is that? And what is this? He's here in the daytime. That dude's a monster. Dude, I don't know. All right, I'll say this. Um, first of all, raccoons in the mountains usually don't come out during the day. No. In Florida, on the coast, North Carolina, wherever, it's different. Okay, those coons are really small, and they come out all the time. M mountain raccoons rarely come out during the day. Okay. Like, they are true nocturnal animals. And they're huge, too. They're like 40 pounds. But I've not seen many coons at all, raccoons at all, come out during the day. Like, very rarely at all. Here's just a bunch of squirrels, but we'll keep flipping through them. We'll go a little bit quicker, because we got a hundreds to go through. We're going to start flipping pretty quick through them. We got here squirrel, squirrel, deer, deer. I don't know anymore. I'm just looking at them. I bet Shannon's. What is that? The squirrel fell from the tree. <laughs> He's been far right there. No, he just jumped off the camera because the camera's blurry too. Dude, the squirrels have been messing with it. He just jumped off the camera. Oh my goodness. Then the raccoon's back. Because that's his ears. We need to trap him. Maybe. That's crazy, dude. Mercury. Raccoons never come out during the day here. He's about to get the pistol crossbow smoke. He's about to. Well, there's a spark. I actually seen him around a few times lately. We seen him the other day in the field. Yeah, his horns are like almost touch, or his antlers. We'll keep going a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker. We got a lot of we got a lot of pictures to go through. We can very definitely say that's not a butt bug, just a doe. Good thing is that the deer. We got three fawns. One, two, three, all with spots. I think that's the one that hangs out in your front yard all the time. Yeah, there's a lot of them. I brought, I'll be honest, I don't even think I'm going to try to kill one here unless it's some kind of snow hunt stalk or something because I don't want to kill them because I got other places to hunt now. So that's a good thing. But we're going to keep flipping, see what happens here in the night. You know the crazy thing? I've not even got back to the camera yet to where I fix it back. If you know what I mean. Like, there's a time where I actually readjust the camera because I realize it's been knocked off. I have not even came to that yet. We used to have a ton of pictures to go. I would go a little bit faster, but my computer is having a hard time loading them because it's such a high-quality pictures. It's hard to load, but yeah, there's a raccoon soaking wet. Just nasty. But he's just chilling, dude. Must have rained a lot that night because the squirrel was wet too. Dude, and then the squirrels are shaking the camera again. They need to leave it alone is what they need to do. There's another big raccoon. They're all over the place, dude. Dang, these raccoons, man. They need chilled out. Chill out. We got some pretty good pictures on there. Oh, yeah. These are pretty good. I'm just waiting for some kind of big predator to get caught. I don't know. I don't know either. Steve usually does a good job at that. Yeah, keeps Steve them keeps them out of here. He ain't kept the coons, raccoons away, though. We'll check every three right here. There's a deer. There's some deers. There's some deers. There's some deers. A lot of deer, which makes sense. That's what I expected. Let me go through the bottom. Let's see if we can make this a little bit quicker. Because we do have a lot of pictures, and I estimate that these deer kind of just chilled here for a while. Didn't really move much. The deer pictures, especially because I don't have any bucks, can get repetitive. But then here I am, I think. Yeah, there's me riding Kevin, little dirt bike. Let's see what the time was. Alright, so deer at 10, 
Me at 16, deer at 18. So, yeah, they... We're just going to skip through these kind of fast because deer pictures, especially at a trail camera, definitely tend to get a little repetitive. So we'll flip through these kind of fast. Especially if they're not bucks, which these just aren't because I don't have any bucks in the area. There's old nasty looking deer. Keep looking, keep flipping. Yeah, whenever you put a camera on a deer feeder, it's good to set like your shot lag kind of late to like a minute. Because if not, you're just going to get a ton of pictures of deer and they'll fill up your memory card pretty quick. Let's see, what is this? Uh, it's us. Alright, we'll keep looking. So far, only one buck, and it has been that spike, which is not exactly what you're looking for when you're looking for a buck. But that's okay. Still looking for some kind of predator here. And I know they're here, too. There's a deer right on top of the camera. Someone's calling the phone. Guess what? We ain't answering it. We ain't answering it. What we got here? That same deer comes back at night. You've got them spoiled with the corn. Yeah, I mean, the thing right now, or at least whenever these pictures was taken, which was in July, I don't know if it's 07, 08, or if it's 08, 07. All right, so it's still July. All right, we got to flip through these kind of fast. What is those red looking ones? Um, there's me. There's me again. And then my then my camera turns pink. I don't really know what happened here. I don't exactly know, but it just turned pink. Maybe it's something with the lighting. Maybe it's... I'm going to say it was a solar flare. Okay. Is that the case? Is it probable? Probably not. But it's pink, and that's just abnormal. But I don't know. Good little deer, just chilling early in the morning, 9 o'clock, watching the fog burn off. Dang, man. Nothing crazy's happening so far. Just some pink pics and... Oh, okay. Well, we went up to about... Wait, that's turkeys. They're pink, but those are turkeys. Yeah. So we got a nice little pack of turkeys. But Shannon's in there somewhere. I guarantee it. See, right here we go from 700... And then I feel like we had a big shift back here, didn't we? Did we skip a bunch or? No. Oh, we didn't? No, because those were the first ones that were pink. Then it went dark and no. light for a few. All right, well, then we're already at 700 because I skipped some because they were kind of competitive, re repetitive, and I could see it. Oh, yeah, and then there's me with a mini crossbow. That's actually today. Then that's us, and that's us, and that was us getting it. And then that's all we got, boys. Let me, let some me stop. Some wild pictures. Yeah, let me stop the recording for y'all right now. And, uh, I mean, yeah, a nice little 13-minute media gig. I don't know. We're probably running about 13, 20 right now. Listen, t um, trail? No. What, what should their code be? How about just CORN10, all caps. Use code CORN10, all caps. Get 10% off as many KG trail cameras as you want. Buy about four and send me one. Hey, because, like, listen, you, if you, whether you buy one KG trail camera or you buy six KG trail cameras, you're going to get 10% off every how many you buy. So the more you buy, the more you save. This promo code is going to end in about three days. So go ahead and buy one if you want one. It's kindlegrade1.com slash shop, or we're going to put the first link in the description. As for now, buy, I guess.